Tight bond wood glues. Quietly keeping woodworking projects together for over 70 years. Hi, I'm Ernie Conover, and today I'd like to show you a simple, inexpensive chucking technique that's great for holding dry work. It doesn't work well with wet wood, but it's perfect for holding things like trays and platters or small tabletops in the lathe where you don't want to leave a chucking mark. I've mounted a one inch thick piece of wood on a screw chuck, but it could just as well be mounted on a faceplate. And I've scraped it dead flat with a straight edge scraper, like so. This is a very important operation for it brings the face of this glue block dead square to the axis of the lathe. I've now cut a piece of uh, brown craft paper from a shopping bag like you can still get groceries in. And I'm going to use a PVA glue. It's like Tight Bond Original. It's perfect for this uh, application. And I'm just going to put a little glue on that glue block. And I'm going to take that paper and smear that glue around and get it evenly distributed in there. I'm now going to take our platter and I'm going to put some glue on the other side of the paper here. Bring up the tailstock without breaking my scissors. And I'm going to pick up the trammel point where I laid out the circle for this platter, just like so. I'm going to just ease it up and again I'm going to now spin that and distribute that glue evenly. Tighten up that tailstock and I now have that running dead perfect on center. I now need to leave the glue dry for about two hours while it's held in my $3,500 bar clamp here. Once we have uh, turned and sanded our uh, tray to our satisfaction, we're simply going to turn it until the grain is standing straight up and down here and stick a chisel right in the glue line like this with the bevel side towards the uh, chuck and we're just going to tap that lightly really and now we can uh, take that uh, right off the chuck like so and there we have our finished tray uh, which we chucked without uh, disturbing a single fiber of the wood. Using the same paper joint uh, technique we can glue two halves of a spindle turning together and turn the turning uh, as we would normally and when we're all finished uh, we can simply take it and put it down on the bench, put a chisel in the glue line like that and tap it with a hammer. And we have created a half turning, or often called an engaged column, often put on the uh, front of or uh, diagonal corners of furniture. A great embellishment uh, to further your furniture making.